I have a question for anybody who happens to know quite a lot about The Devil's Own. I will get in with my own thoughts in a moment. But the reason this film came on my radar is because I was reading an old issue of Total Film magazine from 1997. And it was discussing what was then the forthcoming film Devil's Own. And it had a list of the cast um, in quite large letters. It wasn't like a small bit of text that was hidden. And it said the cast included Brad Pitt, Harrison Ford and John Mahoney three people who I think are fantastic. And it turns out, having now seen it, that I can confirm that Harrison Ford and Brad Pitt are definitely in this. John Mahoney is nowhere to be seen. And I googled it afterwards, and John Mahoney has no connection to this project as far as I can see. So if anybody happens to know if that was just a massive oversight from Total Film, or if he was perhaps previously connected to this project, but that close to the release date, a little bit peculiar, if anybody has any information about that, please let me know. But the film itself is really interesting, um, very dramatic and very emotional. I will say, it's not really my kind of film. Um, I watch it for the cast, but I'm trying to expand my horizons with this kind of film and watch genres that I'm not definitely going to, not generally going to watch unless there's an additional pull factor. It was directed by Alan J. Pakula written by Vincent Patrick and David Aaron Cohen, starring the aforementioned. And this focuses on um, an IRA terrorist, which first of all sounds like a terrible thing, which of course it is. But actually the beginning, the, the opening scene, completely makes you think differently about this character. In the very opening scene, this may be a timely spoiler because I didn't know what was about to happen, but it is in the opening scene. This family is sitting around a table in Ireland and there's you know, the mother, the father, uh, I think there was a daughter and there was this little boy who was about maybe eight or ten years old. And this little boy is called Frankie. And the next thing we know, the door to this home bursts open, somebody in a mask comes in and shoots down the father in front of this little boy. That's horrific. This little boy then grows up to become an IRA terrorist. So, on the one hand, I want to hate this character because he's an IRA terrorist, but at the same time, look at what he witnessed. He is a product of violence. He has grown up with these thoughts because of this individual. And I think giving us that initial backstory, rather than just saying, oh, it's a film about a terrorist, makes the character a lot more complex and really makes you question well, certainly made me question how I should be feeling about this individual because his actions are horrific but look at why not that I'm saying it excuses what he is doing but long story short I'm getting away from the point this little boy grows up um, and moves to, to America um, under the name Rory he's actually going there to get um, weaponry uh, missiles etc and bullets and he ends up staying, um, the person who helps him arrange this has a friend who is a police officer and he um, arranges for Rory to stay with the family of this police officer. But the police officer and his family do not know that he is an undercover IRA terrorist who is in um, America, I believe it was New York, please correct me if I'm wrong on that, who was there to get um, weaponry to take back to Ireland. They just think he's there, um, I believe it was doing a construction job. Will Rory get away with it? Or will people start to realise the truth about why he is there? I'm not going to say what happens, but I will say it is quite compelling. I was pleased that it wasn't set in Ireland, because I don't like films about the IRA. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because the subject is very recent. You know, I can watch films about violence and attacks and things like that. But if it's something that's literally still happening in some parts of the country, obviously it's not as it's not in its heyday, if you like. Um, but it's something that is still a very real thing and causes a lot of problems and a lot of tension with people and families divided. I don't know, I just find it really uncomfortable. So I'm kind of glad that they actually took the film and set it mostly in America. That worked really well for me and made me really enjoy the narrative a lot more. I was particularly worried about the character of Tom O'Meara, who is the police officer with whom Rory stays, because I really liked him. He obviously doesn't know 
that Rory is an IRA terrorist. He thinks he is this construction worker who is a friend of a friend. I really like this character and I really wanted the best for him. He's played by Harrison Ford, uh, absolutely brilliant character, very easy to like, very, very easy to get on with. So I hoped for the best for him. Um, I think that the character's actions are very believable. I feel like the narrative is very realistic. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's still not my kind of film. It's still a bit too gunny and violent um, for, for what I generally like from a film. But the cast drew me to it. And I'm pleased to say that I enjoyed it enough. You know, it was compelling. It was moving. It was emotional at times. I, I was invested in the characters and their journeys. As I said, I think the character of Frankie slash Rory is so fascinating. Just giving us that opening scene from his childhood makes such a difference to the way this character is perceived. If we didn't know his backstory or why he started to have um, these IRA approaches, I, I would have hated him from the get-go and I wouldn't have understood anything he was doing. But that one scene made such a huge difference. Um, Tom O'Meara as a character is really interesting. His family unit um, makes it much more emotional as well. I really liked it. Brilliant character development. The narrative flows really well. I think the structure is very good. Yes, a bit too violent and actiony for my personal tastes, but that's not the fault of the film. That is what it set out to, to deliver, and I think it delivered it well. I won't say what happens at the end, but I'll say it made it made sense. It wasn't a disappointing ending. Um, I think everything was, was rounded off nicely without leaving me with too many questions. I will probably never watch The Devil's Own again, but I enjoyed the performances. I'm glad that the cast drew me to it because it was a pretty decent watch.